Hi everybody, this is Shah and this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th of August. I hope you enjoyed last week's uh, videos and remember we're already by the end of this coming week we will be at the middle of August and remember August is a very active and uh, strong power month there's a lot of positive things happening that's what the cards have been saying so I wonder what this week will bring and welcome back my cyber angels and thank you for your enormous support and uh, your shares and likes uh, a lot of you might be on holiday. If you are on holiday, please stay safe and enjoy your holiday and hope to see you back alive in safety and well-being. And for those that have just landed on this page, hi, I'm Shah, the Cyber Mum, as we have uh, live sessions as well on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you would like to join us in the live sessions, the live sessions is the Tea Room, known as the Tea Room, and the followers, the viewers, are my Cyber Angels and... Um, or cyber babes as they were known in the first early stages but they've prom I've promoted them to cyber angels okay if you would like to become a cyber angel and get a free card or have a question then I am willing to answer that so long they are supported by a super chat or a super sticker then join us on Monday Wednesday and Friday so please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified and I do put out extra notifications on Instagram Facebook and the community tab in YouTube there are a lot of exciting new things happening and that's why the intro is uh, slightly longer than usual. Um, I have done a couple of reviews and I've also um, been live for the first time on uh, Cyber Fair on Facebook. You can see the video on that as well. It was for charity and I, I am putting the link to the charity below each video this week. Um, as I would like to share things with you. I feel honoured and I'm, I've had a second chance after the two car accidents uh, that you all know about. I have whiplash and I've come through it and um, I would like to give something back, not just towards uh, anybody that's watching my videos, but to more people. Uh, the charity is for the children that are blind, but also uh, their families and the next of kin. I will leave the information below. Please feel free. Don't feel um, that you have to, but if you know somebody that's blind or a child with difficulties like that um, or has a parent that is blind, it it does affect other family members. So if you would like to donate, thank you very much in advance and everything is welcome, even if it is 25 cents. If we all club together, it can become a great whopping uh, amount and that will give them perhaps uh, a day out or a holiday or sustain them in an other way. I know what it is like to be without financial aid. Um, this is a small charity. Um, I don't like to support big charities too much because they get subsidized by the municipalities and the governments. Or other institutions so this is um, uh, from me and from uh, uh, my viewers hopefully and this will go directly to the Royal British Society for the Blind uh, you can check it out yourself because I'll leave the link of the website underneath this video and in uh, the description box and uh, also uh, the money doesn't come to me I don't want to receive any money please pay directly into the um, association for the blind thank you very very much if you feel you can do it and you want to do it there again um, 
I am stunned for words. I enjoyed the session. It was a life experience and you can see the video on how that went as well. And I hope to do it again sometime, hopefully next month, uh, see how things go. Let me know what your reaction is, whether you like uh, the idea that I'm doing this or have you got a suggestion of a very small uh, institution uh, or a trust that or an organization that could help uh, financial could benefit with financial help I'm willing to promote it because I'm got a, got a second chance and I'm blessed with you my cyber angels and my life and my children and my animals uh, so that's why I want to do it to a specific organization give a little bit back to society remember this is like the wheel of fortune and the world it's karma as well what goes round comes round thank you in advance and be blessed stay safe and i hope you enjoy the video ciao ciao hi aries this is shah from charlie's angel tarot and i'm doing your reading for the week for of the 10th to the 16th and welcome back your first card is the three of fire and the three of fire means that your plans are coming to f fruition your ship of abundance is coming in isn't that a beautiful picture Ooh, he's coming home with abundance that is grand so plans are coming to fruition you are seeing it happening on Wednesday you have the magician the magician means that you've got all the gifts the talent the wisdom the gift of the gap and you can do the walk and you so you can do the talk or you can do the talk so you can do the walk you've got everything you need to let your dreams come into fulfillment or putting your ideas into practice that will bring you big returns there is a new beginning on Wednesday remember time is man-made so it could happen on Monday or Tuesday but that's the energy on Wednesday on Friday you have the seven of cups and look at that little corgi doesn't he look lovely you're you're still dreaming you still have goals you still have wishes make a priority list that is my advice your pros and cons take what a dream or wish can come true much quicker that will motivate you to work on to the next one by the looks of it you've got a little bit more than one or two wishes so get uh, up there and make that list and get into action it won't happen by itself now the uh, weekend card is celebrations and in most decks this means wedding you uh, the wedding the four of wands so you might be invited to a wedding if it isn't your own and look at all the dogs in the back those are all the people you will be meeting people so you will be networking perhaps at a gathering or at a celebration but you could also be making new friends these partnerships or friendships will be built on proper foundations as the four of wands makes the, represents the corners of a house or you could be buying a house and you're celebrating that you've finally got a house wow great stuff so stability and productivity is here and celebrations as four means productivity and stability proper foundations awesome that is really great now this is a very very straightforward reading but you the message here is you must come into action um, and not just focus on what is happening in front of you but also around you the see the big bigger plan that's why he's standing on a cliff's edge looking down and he can see more than what would be right in front of him if he was on the road 
like I said, make the pros and cons list and take your first wish or your goal or your dream and make it into reality because you are the magician this week, you have the power to do so. And there will be celebrations because I think your ideas or your wish is going to come into action, into material, into the material world. Know that you are not alone. As from the healing angels, you have the guardian angels. You've been guided along this path, right, to get to the point of celebration. Don't just sit there and think about it jump into action. That is what the angel is trying to tell you there. Look at her. She's going like that. Come on. Get up. Get up. Now we've got <coughs> a beautiful card from Wayne Dyer. Wayne or Wayne Dyer. I always get these. His, his names look, um, sound a lot like surnames is the forename and the forename is the surname. Wayne W. Dyer. Okay, he was a terrific man, and uh, to me, he is like a modern prophet. The tenth secret. Wisdom is avoiding all thoughts that weakening you, that will weaken you. Be careful that you always have a choice. So, there you are. You've got loads of dreams, but you have a choice. Which dream are you going to take? Make sure that you always have a choice, okay? And I always, my the way I do it, I can see in my life, I've got the high road and the low road, but you always come back on the middle road. So, make, in other words, have more options ready. Know that you can always choose the thoughts you allow in your mind, so make the effort to replace dispowering, weakening thoughts, negative thoughts, in other words, with those of higher spiritual frequency. It is your choice. And when I see like the Five of Swords, I always say, show your hand, talk to the hand, walk away from people's drama, don't get involved, be careful what you say and how you act. Just say, hold on, um, that you don't literally say, talk to the hand, but you just say, hold on, and you can say this to negative thinking as well, hold on, thank you very much for the warning, and remember a positive moment in your life, and that is a reset of the mind, and that is how you take control of your life, your decisions, your mind, and the moment that you are in, so that you revert to positive thinking. You have the choice. Make sure that you have more options, more choices. Okay. Now the last card is from the color uh, oracle deck and you've got watermelon. Enjoy your inner child. Enjoy your inner child. So you can eat watermelon, you can uh, meditate on the color watermelon and you can wear the color watermelon it's not quite pink it's not quite red it's a pinkish red but quite soft and gentle and vibrant and you've got number three so that means be creative like the magician okay now the all over theme card that I'm using is meeting Wow, and I love this cat in the teapot, isn't it? Look, talking to each other. He's talking with a fairy. Meeting people. There you go. You might have more options to meet people. It might be at a wedding. It might be at another form of celebration. But make sure that your communication is gentle, okay? And not negative. Boom. Wow, it's really gorgeous. So enjoy meeting people and conversing with people. Get to know people and what they want and how they feel. And this is number nine. So there is an ending coming to difficulties, but talk about it and make sure that you 
can compromise. Make a choice, know what they want and let them know what you want. That is how you can come together. Boom! I love this reading for you, Aries, and I know you are a very strong, powerful person, but don't always um, be so stern. I also get to hear, let go, learn to let go of the old, so you can make room for the new. If you have got differences with somebody, then compromise. Talk, communicate, learn from each other and compromise. Okay, Let go of control issues as well. That's also what I'm hearing, especially meeting with somebody that you might have had a difficult issue with. Um, so let go of the old, communicate and let go of control issues. Be softer and gentler. Okay, We're not all as sharp as you are and we're not all as busy or active as you are like the earth signs and the water signs. Just remember that we're all different. We have to adjust to accordingly to each other. I hope you have enjoyed this reading for this week and I hope um, uh, that to see you in the life and if you are on holiday have a wonderful time if you're coming back this week have a safe journey and come home in peace and health take care god bless and be blessed thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.